objective to study about microorganisms most organisms are visible to us but some living organisms are extremely small and we cannot see them with the unaided eye these organisms are known as microbes or microorganisms some microorganisms can be seen with the help of magnifying glass example fungus that grows on bread some can only be seen when you use a microscope example bacteria and protozoa diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoans whereas typhoid and tuberculosis or tb are bacterial diseases microorganisms are classified into four major groups these groups are bacteria fungi protozoa and some algae bacteria these are single celled organisms with a rigid cell wall they can only be seen under a microscope which enlarges images from 100 to 1000 times example vibrio cholerae and e coli fungi these are non green plants and hence cannot make their own food they either live as parasites or grow on the organic matter parasites derive nutrition from host organisms example pyxenia which causes wheat leaf rust example for the fungi that grow on organic matter is bread mold fungi like mushrooms molds mildews and yeast are eukaryotes it means that they have a true nucleus algae these are simple plant like organisms which are usually aquatic in nature they contain a cell wall and chlorophyll and can make their own food by photosynthesis algae can be unicellular or multicellular some of the common examples are diatoms chlamydomonas and seaweed protozoa protozoa are unicellular organisms some of them live independently while others live as parasites Many of the parasitic protozoans cause diseases in plants, domestic animals, and human beings. Example of some protozoans are amoeba, plasmodium, and paramecium. Viruses are also microscopic, but are different from other microorganisms. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. and come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes they however reproduce only inside the cells of the host organism the host may be a bacterium plant or animal outside the body of a living organism they do not show any reaction and hence can be crystallized and stored like non-living things it is called virion common ailments like cold influenza or flu and most coughs are caused by viruses serious diseases like polio and chickenpox are also caused by viruses where do microorganisms live microorganisms may be single celled like bacteria some algae and protozoa are multicellular such as many algae and fungi They live in all types of environment ranging from ice cold climate to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands. They are also found inside the bodies of animals including humans. Some microorganisms grow on other organisms while others exist freely.